Watch out for this oil change scam by mechanics and quick loop shops, the legendary upsell. Notice the mildew and debris on the filter and notice this filter. They're one in the same, that's correct. While this filter does have 30,000 miles on it, now we have the same exact filter, brand new. And maybe yours looked just like that when you went into the shop. Now it looks like this. Why? They use coloring. And they'll even do this, adding their own debris to the filter. I'm not joking. They do a little bit better job, but not too much better. However, what does the manufacturer say? Do we need that magical upsell? Well, you've seen it for yourself in the owner's manual, even severe driving. Inspect the filter anywhere from between 7,500 and 30,000 miles. It may need to be changed. Using a manometer and anometer, we will measure these filters. Brand new and this one with 30,000 miles. As you can see, it is the same exact filter even. So we'll check out the speed in which the air is able to move through the filter, the wind speed, and we'll also check the static pressure, which will allow us to know how much resistance there is. Obviously, we need to seal this up, and this Gorilla Tape is actually good. The Gorilla Glue Company does a pretty good job on making things like this. Notice. We've added this in to the intake piping and one for each side before and after the filter for the static pressure. You saw the wind speed monitor already added. Now we need to go ahead and seal it up. I recommend before you even enter the shop, check your filter, your oil, your cabin air filter as well. Anything you know how before entering into one of these shops. Of course, they're not all bad, but you need to be prepared and don't be afraid to speak up for yourself. This will allow us to know if, in fact, this filter is ready to be changed because air filters, a lot of it depends on the environment in which you live. So, knowing what a new filter can perform at versus what a filter at 30,000 miles, which it's typically time for it to be changed. Always follow the owner's manual's instructions. We'll go ahead and turn on our meters. Then we'll get in with the testing. Obviously, resistance to airflow is important. Start the vehicle up. We're not up to operating temperatures and our idle is a little bit high for the moment. So we'll allow the vehicle to reach operating temperatures before we actually begin recording our results. Obviously you can see the wind speed and this is in miles per hour. This however is in inches of water column and as you can see we're ready. Notice the idle speed and you can see a big difference already. Now we will not change that. It would appear we've reached as high as 18. That's pretty incredible. Now let's turn it off and we'll go check out our results for our new filter to see if it actually performs any better. And you saw the other filter, the old filter. It wasn't that bad. We were able to manage around about 0.6 miles per hour and as high as 0.18 on inches of water column. So obviously the lower the number on the resistance would be better off. And as far as the speed, obviously the higher the speed would be more beneficial because this would allow more air to enter the engine and the easier it is with less restriction for the engine, you can gain more performance, power, fuel economy. We're ready once again. Notice the idle. It's exactly the same as it was in the first test. Look at this, seven and a half to eight is what we're averaging. And as for the static pressure, well, it was 
somewhat significantly lower with 0.17 to note being the highest for the resistance. This is pretty unbelievable. You saw the filter for yourself. I mean, it's brand new. It's the same exact filter. However, yes, the other filter is used, but I can definitely tell you this. While there was a significant improvement, it wasn't all that great, and that filter would have been perfectly fine to leave in the vehicle. As a matter of fact, Fram states that it can go for about 40,000 miles, but that's somewhat irrelevant in regards to the environment if you're in a dusty area. So keep in mind, check your vehicle out before you go into the shop or have someone else do it. Thank you for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.